This is a video on statistics. Statistics is a fairly easier topic in mathematics. What I intend to do in this video is to strengthen your foundation on statistics. Let me just first define what statistics means. Statistics is the branch of science which deals with the collection, analysis and interpretation of numerical data. If you notice, I use the word science. Therefore, there is a systematic study of structure and processes right from collecting data and then analyzing it and then interpreting it. It's all processes if you see. They are steps that needs to be done in order to reach the final destination. So the entire function of statistics is to simplify complex data. As we know data is always presented in a ungrouped or raw manner and then you have a group data which is nicely classified. When we have huge chunk of data that is where it gets complicated. Hence statistics helps in simplifying the data. However, there is a limitation to statistics because it does not deal with individual measurements. I'll give you an example. In a data set, there are rows and columns, right? So a complete row is often known as observation. Therefore, in statistics, you're not concerned with that single row or what the characteristic of that row is. You're not concerned with it at all. What you're concerned with is the overall projection of the data set, meaning what is the quantitative characteristic of this data set means. If you were to go on to make a graph of these small, small data, the graph would often look something like this. From a statistic point of view, what you will be concerned with is, what is this graph looks like? Why there is a slope and then there is a hike? So you deal with the spikes and sudden frequency distribution. Therefore, that is what the entire meaning of statistics is. Another thing that you need to remember is, often in statistics, we deal with average. Suppose there is a column of data. You would often take the average of the column in order to understand the entire data set properly because the value of average represents the entire distribution or in other words if I have to say the value of average converts a group of figures into one value. So another reason is that when you have to compare two columns it is easier to do that with the help of averages. So if you take the averages of both the column it's easier to compare with the averages rather than compare each and every data of a column. So I hope you're getting what I'm trying to say. Now that you have gained some context over statistics, in the next video, I'll tell you about the different types of frequency distribution.